So today we're in the museum area here in Narpes. We're gonna get a glimpse back in time. Tag along. ago okay there's a second level here guys this is so cool look at this so here you can imagine this has been somebody's playroom here you have some old dolls Probably there was some girl living here. Wow. Look at these paintings, they're so old. Oh my gosh. There's those dolls. That's the kind of toys they had back in the days. This is how life would have been. Back in the day in Arpes. It's pretty, pretty incredible what they have done here. This museum is so cool. Oh my gosh, I have no idea that we had this here. That's the old church. Here's some more room. Oh my gosh, so old. This was somebody's bedroom. Oh my gosh. Check this out. This is the kind of old bed that my grandpa used to have. Oh my gosh, just I don't know. This place is really something else. You can kind of see some certificate that they got married here in 1915. So, from the trace of it, you can see that Christianity has been a really big deal. I mean, you can only imagine how different life would have been 100 years ago. Religion, the church would have played a really big part in their lives. Life was pretty harsh, not like it is today, even though it's not easy today either. But um, yeah, they didn't have the technologies and the medicines and the knowledge that we have today, obviously. So, yeah. I feel really humble to be here. Yeah. I was kind of looking at this. I have no idea what it is. Um, the guy didn't seem either to know what it was, but I kind of figured that probably used on the horse. You see the shape here, and the bells, or maybe on some cattle. Uh, I don't know. Well, yeah, and here's some old clothes that you. Yeah, that's the kind of clothes that they would have used. Let's see how it looks here. Some old cloak. Wow. So that's the kind of old folk costume that they would have used. Here's some other kind of models. Wow. And here they would have done their study, maybe read the Bible. Yeah. This is how it was back in the day. Wow. 
my god, and here's some poster, they were dreaming of a better life in North America. A lot of people emigrated to the United States and to Canada. Here you can see some poster of what they were dreaming about. You know, I guess some people are still dreaming. So guys, this is how life would have been 100 or 200 years ago in uh, many places here in Narpes. Here you can see an old stall, some old bed, and up here you have some baskets that they probably used for bread or food. And wow, gosh, but the clock! seen those before check this out I don't even know what half of these are it's a weapon they were skilled hunters back in the days and here you could see that this here is probably the kind of skin or fur that they used when they were hunting seals other kinds of animals So yeah, gosh, I get a bit nostalgic seeing all this, it's unbelievable. And here we have the old spy museum that was in use during the winter war. Go and check that out. Okay. What do you do? Okay. So I just got the two. Same as our boat. <laughs> 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 This was where the Finnish army used to spy on their enemies. It was here, it all happened. Okay. Man, what I mean, I you know what, man? Like a tip, it's uh, alpha beta, so much lotta, make cooler. Okay. So, so, books, they have a book cooler. Oh, then, uh, so cryptography. Uh, man, lotta, Okay. Okay, moderna model. So, scrive on one here, alpha beta, so man, a lotta. Okay, so each at all into the coordinates. Oh, I just set the the coordinate meter there. So I have to flip the books there and oh, five books there from what? Uh huh. So for the chart, the alpha beta. It's a little bit, but it's a little bit different. Datamaskin eller logik 
Knäck kantekoodin. Okei. Okay. Ja Batman hat lotta. Warrior boosta me me boosta. Joo. Se var ett helt nytt. Liksom hitch blir ett helt nytt bokstavs följ. Wow. Alfabetet. Så var hitch och men sen kan din datamaskin räcka nu. Jaha, du har flyttat av fem steg framåt. Precis. Men det går inte att du har lotta. Nej. En kul i gång. Wow, vilken innovation. Så, så då kan man ett helt nytt alfabete. Om man flyttar linjalin enligt bokstäverna som man ska ta över sånt. Mm-hmm. Nu kom, kallas inte till matolatikko. Men... Då var det så stort och otympligt så att vi har utvecklat så kallade allo. En skiv där man lottar de röda bokstäverna som är inne i. Okej. Okay. Det är spännande. Korsar radio, sa du? Eller lyssnar på radio. Okej. Okay. Det är radiospararnas huvudradio. Mm-hmm. Som eh, man fick från... Amerika, tack vare svenskar. Finland fick ett köpna från Amerika i Brejen. Det var vi var i Moskopé med Tyskland. Precis. Så de fick svenska mm. till köp från Amerika med till böjt mot rysk kodnycklar. Mm-hmm. Den läckte 200 apparater så Asa i Åbo lagade en kopia som med motsvarande till hela radio. Okej. Okay. Och där är det lagat 2000 till Genoa. Hej, så har vi brukat på fältet då? Mm. Ja. Som armén. Ja. Jag som man använder i eldledning för artilleriet. Mm. Så har det alltid en för från. Mm. Så man kommunicerar mellan kanonen och eldledning. Precis. Precis. Det är det att man använder så kallad mm. ordning. Ordningstans radio. Wow. <laughs> More radio communication. Then here is some equipment that they use to pin down the enemy. Yeah, some of these stories that you hear is pretty heartbreaking. It was about life and death here. Of the president. Yeah. Wonder how many of those who survived. Seems like none none of these guys survived. He died in 1940. He too. Yeah. Oh, so sad. hero from Narapes it was decorated and here is all the books about Stella Polaris so this museum is really famous actually there's many many books that has been written about it and I mean they could communicate with the whole world here and spy on I guess basically anybody because they wanted to protect their own land. They were invaded by a foreign power. Finland was a small country and they needed to do everything that they could in order to survive. Sounds like somebody's calling almost. It's the kind of equipment that they used back in the days. Graphic technology that they used in order to decode their 
messages. So the enemy couldn't get a hold of their position and their plans and their forces. I'm gonna show you the theater and here is the beautiful theater. So this theater is actually a rotatable. So, and they even have an old style train that I think I saw in some play very, very long time ago. Check this out. I mean, wow, have you seen something like that? And they even have the train tracks here. So, and there's the theater. Still gets so nostalgic thinking about, you know, the days I've been here, you know, watching these great actors here. Wow. Maybe this doesn't look so spectacular, but you know, what they have had, you know, previous year is like mind-blowing. You know, the time they have put down in it. I'm so amazed by the, like, level that they have here. Of course, it's not just art. In Arpes, I think we're famous for a lot of things. We have a lot of really skilled entrepreneurs. A lot of cool innovations technologies, you know, coming from this small city or this small town that we're in that has been exported to the rest of the world. Yeah, Narpus is unique. Okay guys, here we have something more. This is supposed to be an old store and over there it's supposed to be a pharmacy museum. We're gonna check this out. Oscar Haga, okay. And you see, this is so typical for this region, you know, this kind of colors. You see these houses, they used to be called like farmer's cottages. Okay, let's see. Oh, hello. Oh my. My, oh my. Yes, I would like uh, candy there and uh, maybe some smoked meat. Thank you. Is that all for today? at this place here. Cashier machine. Wow. I wonder if they have the money behind okay. So what would you like from this beautiful store? Maybe some smoked meat? Do you have some candy, sir? Oh yes, I would like that very much. Thank you. There's no one here right now. I got this place all for myself. These things here. Here you would have the typical tools that you would need. It's probably a tire. Who is it? What is it? Oh yeah, it's a, it's a tire. It says there that it's a tire. Made out of wood from the 1940s. Wow. It's interesting said something about the war that it was really hard to get a hold of those rubber tires. Wow. And here they would weigh the food or the merchandise that you probably would buy. Wow, so cool. Small magazine. Wow, it's a poster. Cool. Wow, that was so cool. Let's check this other place out. The pharmacy museum. Okay. Let's enter. Hello, is anyone home? Oh my gosh. No, it was a doll. Oh my gosh. And here, you would have all kinds of medicines. What is that? Oh my god. If you need an eye.
So Doc, uh, I would need something for my motivation and you know, sometimes I have this real, you know, like, kind of anger, you know, you have, have a bit of a problem also to focus. You, you have something for that? No? Uh, okay. Oh, oh, you suggest I should take... Oh, okay. Not the advice that they would give today. But maybe the advice that they give today is not either. <laughs> but maybe the advice that they give today is, um, will be revealed later in history to be... Yeah. Yes, Doctor, I would want that, that, and, uh, and that over there. What is that? <laughs> cool, cool name here. The drop of the prince. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Breast juice. <laughs> God. What an imagination. Well, it's like today. Fantasy is enormous. I mean, it's like when you're looking at this, you're kind of wondering how much of these things were actually safe, you know, for the patient? I think like today, so many things that they give to patients is probably not something that they should give. Yeah. Bye-bye. Today's medicine. Full of wonders. And magic. <laughs> really been looking forward to this one. There was a big group here, a full bus of people who wanted to come and see what happened here during the war time. And now I'm just gonna show you some more things of this place here. So I'm just gonna show you a cool windmill here. So, before we go, I just want to show you this last thing here. Feel that is. There's the nice windmill here. And that was the building that we were in earlier. Oh, so cool. If you remember with the piano and the dolls and all that kind of life they lived back then. Oh, here's the windmill. So that's an old windmill for you, great, preserved, this is the kind of technology that they had back in the days. This was it from the museum area here in Arpes. Definitely recommend that you come here and check these things out for yourself. Bye bye windmill, and bye bye museums, see you another day. So here's a little bit more information about the church stables. See, was raised 1814 and it belonged to a person called Lassus. That's the last name. So yeah, that was where the museum area was. And that is the church. And that was it for today. Wow, had such a great time here. I think it was abroad traveling, but I'm here in my hometown of Nampes. Wow, the museums were so amazing. Wow, you need to check it out. This place here in Nampes, so much history here. You can really learn a lot about life. See you in the next one. Have a great day. Adios. Bye bye, church. The uniqueness of Narpes.
Okay guys, I want to show you the archipelago. So we're gonna go to a near village here in Atmos, so you will see some nice water views and what this town has to offer. Tag along. here in Vargholm and this belongs to a village that is called Kalax and um, here they have a small harbor and we're gonna go to the other village because it's connected with a bridge and show you how it looks here tag along some typical houses where they used to have fishing equipment stuff like that So if you're not from Finland, I just want to tell you that this is how it looks like in the evening. It's 8 o'clock, the sun is still up, it looks like it's uh, lunch hour in some countries. Some cool boats there. Okay. This bridge has a pretty interesting name. Niagara Bridge. So yeah, and if you go with the boat towards that direction, you will get to open water. Do you see that? Looks like thunderstruck. The weather is pretty ideal right now. We're in the beginning, soon, mid-June, 12th of June, to be honest. It's about 20 degrees outside, it's 8 o'clock, and we're here, in this beautiful landscape. Beautiful flowers. So this is pretty interesting, so basically there's one village over there and another over here. So, so great they made that bridge, so you can cross between these places. So, okay, let's continue. I think I see light in the end of the tunnel here. And here we are, beautiful glimmering water. See some of those boat houses there. It's usually where they used to keep the boats or the fishing equipment when they go out fishing. So there should be pretty a lot of those houses. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. I think even in some cases they have made them into kind of summer villas. This. I see some familiar persons over there. Oh, hello there. <laughs> yeah, I brought with me two of my friends. So this is it from Chalox in Narpes. We have one of the most beautiful archipelago in Finland. Come here to Narpes and check it out for yourself. You can go to Chalox here, Kalox, or to Fogarö, Nempnes, oh, Nornes. Have so many beautiful places here. So just. Look up a map, throw some dart on it, just drive around, be spontaneous.
and over there, straight ahead, you will get to Koske, another city. A city also called Finland's small city that has a population of roughly 1,000 people, probably a bit less today. Really beautiful small town. So if you're in the neighborhood, recommend that you check that out. Goodbye. Oh, big boat over there. Oh, really big one. Gosh, some of these boat houses are so beautiful. Obviously, you can see that they're not using it for having fishing equipment in it. They have some nice terraces, boats. And look at this. I don't know if you can sit there, but wow, it's just like next to the to the highway, basically. So there was no real house there, close to that property, so I don't know, probably it's a private place. <gasps> nice beach here. <sighs> nice sound of some bird. And now we'll start to go home. And these flowers are considered as kind of weed, but they're real beautiful. I think at least. for today. See you in the next one. Hope you like this show. Over and out. See you.